Hello everybody. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I got the wrong spot there. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here with me. Uh, today is Wear Red Day and uh, this is um, our Women's Heart Health Month. So, you know, always be aware of, you know, things you can do to keep your um, heart healthy, right? And, um, you know, it's just important to do some of those things and and make sure that you're doing some things for your health as right. And that's one reason in take five, um, you know, take a few minutes for yourself. And sometimes that's about keeping yourself healthy, right? Um, we all need to be mindful of some of the things that we are doing for ourselves, whether it's trying to eat more healthy, getting a little bit more um, exercise, whatever that might be, right? So, oh, thanks for sharing me into the Take 5 group, Melanie. I appreciate that. And, you know, it just it just takes a few minutes to do some of those things, to try and be more mindful uh, about your health and exercise, your food. Um, you know, so I, I really urge you all to try to, you know, be, be more mindful of that. So just one second. I got to pop up here so I can see our comments i always want to see the comments right um get them over here okay hi mary all right so we are in in uh i got the the comments up i can see i can see that people are there and saying hello oh thanks melanie yes and uh mary has shared out the red heart so yes today is you know our our beginning of our um you know heart healthy our yeah, whatever I said before <laughs> but you know um and red we always think of red for hearts right why is that I don't know but we do and it's you know whether it's our hearts for Valentine's Day or whatever we're gonna make um a box uh it is often called another name I'm on Facebook and YouTube and um YouTube or Facebook gets a little antsy when we say things I'm gonna call it a pop-up box but it's otherwise known as uh, something else and you know what maybe I'll put it maybe I'll put it in the con well who knows since they kicked me off one day saying that I had violated community standards for you know sex and nudity who knows I gotta be careful but that's what we're doing today. So let me put you down here to the workspace and we'll get busy. Now we might not get any farther today than just making, um, you know, kind of the basic construction of us. It. It's got a box inside a box. And what you first want to do, oops, I forgot to get out my, my fabulous scoring tool that makes it so easy. Use whatever you have to do your scoring. I like this one because it's a whole, I can fit my whole 12 by 12 on here. I know I've got a, um, we are Memory Keepers trim and scoreboard and it works too. I have just used this for so long that it's easiest for me to do that. So we're going to take a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and it's just kind of a lightweight or a, a medium weight cardstock, I guess I would say. And we're going to score it at four, whoops. I scored at four. Oops, I got out of my track down here. So four and eight. And then we're going to turn it 90 degrees and do it the other way. I wonder if this is one of those papers that this one looks like it's pretty close to the same color on both sides. Some of the close to my heart paper. So this must be an older piece of paper. Um, the newer papers from Close to My Heart, their cardstock, they are kind of two, two tones on the of the same you know color. So you so it's kind of like getting two for one. This looks like the same to me. Um, hi Estella, good morning. Hi Jeannie. So oh thanks everybody. Okay, so we've got that one, and we're gonna get started with this piece here, and we're just gonna work on the the box part right now. So you need some plain color cardstock, or you know, I mean, you could use, uh, you know, some lightweight cardstock that is patterned if you wanna do the base out of that. I like to do the base out of a solid color and then, um, you know, work from there and use pattern paper for the design. So I am going to put this on here 
Now some of these we are going, we're gonna cut this around these four corners. Now normally you would cut the four corners out. I'm going to lay this heart that I have made right here and I'm gonna trace around it in the corners. I'm gonna keep it kind of even, and even if I get out of, you know, out. So it's, I've made a, um, a four inch square, and then I just put a heart in it. And you can cut one out of paper. Actually, you know what you could do? You could cut a four inch square, and then just, you know, fold it in heart, in half, <laughs> in heart, and uh, make it that way. This is only, uh, printer paper so it's not very it's not very thick so I got to be kind of careful kind of trying to draw around that but you can do it and I wish I'd have cut it I wish I would have done it out of something a little heavier so let me pull that up so you can see what I've done so I've just done that and you don't want it to go um, you don't want to go too deep I mean as long as it's still got part of this score line intact you'll be okay so I'm just gonna put that there and I'm just gonna draw around each of those. How many of you have ever made one of these boxes? It's an X <laughs> Plo Jun box. Put that all together. This is like a, a game show. Put those together and what do you have? But no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it. I tell you. It's just kind of ridiculous for all the things that you know those bots can think is going on it's too bad they're not as smart as they think they are right <laughs> hi sue i bet you have i bet sue has made one sue is one of our our paper crafters that comes on so just keep drawing around here what do you guys got going on today? Besides watching our Friday Friends group. I've got this so close to me, I can't hardly reach it. Uh-oh, I don't see my little snippy scissors here. That's a problem. I'll have to reach over and get a different pair. And they're not my favorite. Hmm. I was just using them yesterday. That's the problem. If you don't, you know, a lot of times when I'm on here, I will, you know, need to get prepped for everything. And then I'm on here doing my live, doing my project. And then as soon as I'm done, there's something going on and I've got to cut and run. And so, you know, because of that, my craft space is usually a giant mess. So that's not any fun. Gonna kind of sketch around that. Okay, so now let me grab a pair of scissors. Oh, these might be okay. I think these are actually. I'm kind of thinking those are some close to my heart ones, and they're they're kind of nice for a little pair. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut around this heart. Now, when I cut around to that score line. Then the rest of this score line, I'm just going to trim straight down like that. Okay. And again, over here, some of these make it a little bit awkward to cut. I'm not going to lie. But you can do it. I know you can. And they don't have to be super precise. Go ahead and, you know, cut off your. I shouldn't have pulled that off, and I've left a white space. <laughs> I left a white space. Okay. Yeah, so what do you guys got going on for this weekend? I can't believe it's already February, you guys. It seems like it was just New Year's. How many of you feel that way? Now, I'm just going to trim inside the line. It doesn't matter, but if I trim inside the line or try to... Or you could, you know, kind of erase it off if you want. But if I trim inside the line, I'm going to cut that pencil mark off. So that is the best that I like to do. That's the easiest way. And on this one, I'm trimming on this side of that score mark. So I can trim that off. And not have a score line. I'm going to be a little careful over there. There we go. 
but just keep keep at it here we'll do our four hearts we're going to do a little bit more scoring and then this is going to be the outside the outside box and then we'll do the inside box and then we'll work on decorating so you know actually whatever you want to do you can decorate these and you can make them in any color and like i said they don't have to have heart corners you could just cut this whole square off and do the same thing so it's just up to you but it's kind of fun it's kind of it's such a surprise element to open the box and find this little heart inside right Deborah, how many of you like to open something and then there's something else that's kind of a surprise you hadn't planned on that makes it kind of fun right okay I usually say to turn turn your paper not so much your scissors but on this I can't it's kind of hard to do that with this whole and you know so now I am now I can turn my paper more instead of just kind of chopping away with the scissors right and for some reason it's just easier especially if you're fussy cutting small things this isn't so much like fussy cutting it's not that small but kind of the same concept and then just in here and just one more heart to go you guys and we'll be ready to continue with our box but you know a heart does not have to be only for february not just for valentine's day we always kind of think as hearts um, denoting love right so anytime you want to give something really special to someone, if it has like these hearts, I think that's a perfect little little addition to your project. My fingers are getting tired. But yes, I've got, I'll tell you what's on my agenda for the weekend. I have got to do some straightening in here, the craft room, because like I said, I don't even know where my little yellow Kirby snips are that I usually amusing and those are my favorite i've had them for years you guys and i don't even know i don't even know how i came across them but i've heard so many other people say that they are their favorite little snips okay so now what we're gonna do we are going to i'm gonna take my ruler and even though this isn't soft, I'm going to do this so I can kind of see where I'm going. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go from this uh, point where it intersects right here on this score where they intersect and out here to this low part at the top of the heart. And I'm just going to do this and then I can see where it is and then I'll put it on my scoreboard. But see, it just, it made enough of a mark, right? Where, there we go. You can see right there in the middle. So that's the easiest way to do it because a lot of times when you can't see the bottom of where you're going. You know what though? Well, no, that's not right. I was going to say maybe you could just line up from this top part down to here, but that's not going to work. You're still not going to be able to see where you're going. You, It would be hard to line up the same mark here and get it down here. I will show you how you could do that though. Hang on just a second, in case you ever need to know that. So, in case you were to ever need to know that. And we'll, in fact, let's do it now. So what we're gonna do is, let, let's do six, okay? So I'm gonna take six, and that way I'll know to put this part up here in the six, and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna run it all the way down here. This is too long. <laughs> so I can put the six here and this one here. Actually, I think I can line that up. Maybe I would just won't get it all the way to the top. And then I can run this along here. This one's going to be easier. And I can push it down a little bit. And get that top. So we'll take our six, put it up here where you see the measurement. 
you can't even see the measurement. I'll put it at six, and I'm just run my score tool all the way down. And now I'm just gonna line this up where I can see it, and I know the top one needs to be angled to the six. And that makes it an easy way to get that. Oh, I got that kind of off. It should be an easy way. <laughs> There we go. Okay, now, now for folding it up. So what we're gonna do is let's just go ahead and, and fold these in the way that our box is going to, you know what, we need to go this way. When you've got your little divots right here, it's best to fold into them like this. You've stretched those fibers and that's the way that it's the best way to fold it. It seems kind of counterintuitive, I know. I always think so anyway, but you've stretched those fibers down there. Hi, Donna. Okay. And then just do it all. Okay, so we've done it all, um, you know, both ways. So now what we need to do is we need to take this one. Now this one is going to be different. We need to take this one and kind of work it and kind of do that corner. And just kind of give it a little squeeze there we go and then that's going to fold inside that little heart is going to be inside so take our corner and then just if you lay one side down and then kind of pull it that seems like a, a good way to do it and just give it a good press inside here so again just fold it down pull this corner over and now those are inside. Surprise! We've got hearts inside. So that just makes it a lot easier to get those down there. Okay. And you can, let's, in fact, let's do this. Let's go ahead and give all of our scores a good crease here. Because this will help the box stand up better, you guys. Or, you know come together better and then for these let's fold them in here lay them down and I'm just gonna give it a good crease like that you can't see that but that's what I'm doing just folding it in increasing that center of the heart and I think if you kind of when you fold it up it's almost easier when you're done to fold it up to where all the hearts are kind of going around in a circle so by that, I mean having all of them go, you know, one direction. So this would go this way. So they're like this, kind of going around. And that'll be easier when we get to that part. Okay, now our next step, we're gonna make our box for inside. And our box inside, we are going to cut two strips. And that's gonna be our inside box. And those need to be, let me see, I've got my cheat, cheat notes over here, you guys. Two, three inches, okay, I need three inches by nine inches. And you guys, I know you've heard me say this before, I like to know which way the, the paper is going to uh, fold the best. So it's this way. So I'm gonna date, make my strip along here because I'm gonna have score marks along here. So I'm gonna cut it my strips this way. So I need three inches. I'm gonna cut a little bit off. So we've got three inches. I need another one that's three inches. And then nine inches. I have to put out my leg here. <laughs> Hi, Diane. How are you? Hey, Jeannie. I hope you guys are having a good Friday. We had such a beautiful day the last couple of days. And today it's kind of cloudy and icky again. But it, what a relief to have those days. I tell you, it was marvelous. Okay, and then these two, we're gonna score these at three inches and six inches. 
So basically you are making your, you're scoring it into thirds. So three inches and six inches. Oh my gosh, I hear that big dog out there. <laughs> he is so funny. I've never been around a dog like him and I tell you what, he certainly has a personality. There is no doubt about it. Now I just did what I told you not to do. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and score these so they're nice and crisp. Nothing like some crafting to start off the weekend, right? Okay, so we've got those. Now, what we're going to do with these is we're going to glue these two together so that they, this is going to be our inside small box, okay? So that what an easy way to make a box, you guys, just two strips. Now, granted, the sides are going to, you know, <laughs> come, come flapping down, but that's how we want it. So let's see. See, let's get this in here. Actually, I could square this up. If I just put that down there, that really helps me square that box up. And this seems... Now, I don't need it to be like that, so it's not going to matter. But this is coming a little bit over the score line, but like I said, it doesn't matter because what we want is for the box to be straight up like this, right? Oh, Sue says they haven't seen sunshine in a while in Michigan either. Oh, my goodness. At least we got a break. We got a break and got to see some sunshine. Okay, so now we've got that. There's our little box. And we're going to put it right here in the middle. I put my glue away too soon, you guys. And you can use, you know, whatever you want to use for adhesive. I like to use liquid glue because it gives me just that minute for some wiggle room. I'm just going to try to put it here kind of in the center and this one doesn't matter exactly if you've got it. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and try to get it you know kind of squared up there and that's good. Now this you can see how my edges are cut and you can this is a white core um, cardstock. So when I cut it, you can see those edges. Now, if that really bothers you, you can take a little bit of ink and, you know, ink those so that they're not so, you know, obvious. Um, I do not have a good color of ink out here right now to do that. So I'm just going to tell you, you can do that. If you like to ink, then, you know, that is an option. And not all people like to ink and you don't have to, right? You know, that's a, a personal preference. Okay, so now let's make our lids. So for the lids, we need to, let's make our small lid first. And we're gonna cut a four inch square. Oop, that's not my cutter. <laughs> Gotta have the right tool. So a four inch square. So I'm gonna cut four inches off this way. This is for our tiny box. So four inches and four inches. Oh, I hope you guys don't have to hear my big dog out there. I don't know what he's doing. Actually, he's Jen's dog. He is like part blue healer and part Great Dane. And I have never been around either of those dogs. When I was growing up, we usually had, um, I started to say St. Bernard's. That's not right. German Shepherds. We had a big St. Bernard that lived next door to us, though. Does that count? And then for our, so this is for the small box. I'm just going to lay that there. And for our big box, we want to have a five and a half by five and a half square. So five and a half and five and a half. So see, your two pieces of cardstock are enough to make your your foundation for your box, your big box, your little box, your two lids, and that's all you have to have. Okay, so now um, on the the big lid, we're gonna score, 
um, what are we scoring it? We're scoring it at three quarters of an inch around all the edges. So three quarters of an inch and just turn it, give it a turn. Another turn. Okay, so we've got that one. And now we're just gonna snip the corners here. And we're going to, and this is the way I like to do it. I like to do it just on, on up opposite sides. So I'm gonna cut on the inside here, the in, inside, meaning towards the center. I'm gonna cut that score line off. And then I'm gonna cut a little bit of an angle, a little triangle out there, and then I'll snip a little triangle over here. And this just makes a, a nicer way for our, um, our lid. But keep these two straight, and then snip and snip. Hi, Susan. Hey, Christy, how are you doing? Okay, so straight ones on here. Cut off the score line. And a triangle and a triangle. And you know, if you if you don't do this, you know, it just is harder to get your box put together real nice. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, fold all the scores, the little flaps, the main pieces, all of those goodies. Oh, thanks, Jeannie. I'm glad. I love doing these. This is not the first time I've shown how to make it, but you know, I always have people say they always wondered how to make them. Now I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this same, we're gonna use this box and then I'm gonna come back next week and we are going to make some the things to go in it. And the things we're gonna make to go in the sections, you can use them on junk journals, you can use them on cards, you can use them if you want, if you don't put your um, scrapbooks in page protectors, you know, you could, well, you could and just slide it out if you wanted to. But we are going to make some really fun things that will be very versatile. And you know me, I'm, I'm all about having things be versatile, right? Okay, so I'm only going to do two. Whoops, I knocked, I pulled my whole little thing that keeps this here. <laughs> I don't want to lose that. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So now I'm just going to do, I'm only going to do one side. I'm only going to glue one side and I'll, I'll tell you why. For now. <laughs> it's going to get glued, but not right this second. So just fold the tab up, line it up so it's as straight as you can get it. Do the other side. Just make sure that you've got it all squared up. And this one, we're going to wait for a second. What we're going to do... Well, <laughs> what are we going to do? You know what? I'm going to um, I'm gonna get a couple of little clippy things out for a second just to hold this in place while we get ready. You don't have to. It's just like sometimes I just feel like I need more hands. Okay, so we've got these here, right? Okay, so now we've got the, the basis of our box. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this glue on these tabs. And we have a, you know, we have a minute. As long as it's still tacky, this glue will, you know, grab hold and it'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to put it on over here, pull it across get this inside here and now we're going to fold it down and the reason we're doing this is because we want to make sure that fits right because if it needed a tiny bit more room at that second we have time to do it and this box this lid is perfect 
I think I did the measurements. I think I've redone the measurements on some of these things before. And uh, perfect, <laughs> if I don't say so myself. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we've got that one. So now let's make our little inside box. And so we've got our four, or not the box, the lid. So now we've got our four inch lid. And this time we're only gonna do half an inch around the sides. So the first, the bigger um, lid was three quarters of an inch. And this one we just are gonna do half an inch. So same, same thing. Let me get you out of the way of where my head is there. <laughs> Donna says she finally found those clippies at Dollar Store. Oh, yeah. Yes, they're really handy. And I'll tell you something else that can be handy, too. Hang on one second. Let me score these. So half an inch all the way around. Let me pull down my desk drawer, and I'll show you something else that I have found really. Uh, and I, I have no idea where they came from, though. But I have these tiny little clothespins. And I'm always using those, too. And they're just enough to, like, to, you know, snip something to, or, you know, hold it together. And, oh, my goodness, those have really come in handy, too. And so keep an eye out if you see something like that because you'll find it really useful. Okay, so same thing. Snip the inside. Triangle, triangle. We just got to go all the way around and do the same thing. Okay, and some people don't do this. Some people do, um, they kind of do it around like in a circle, like I was telling you um, that I like to fold the hearts in. Some people do that so that as, as they go around, <laughs> I can't get that out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just stuck there. So as they go around, like each one would look like this. Like this would look like this, and you know it would be the same over this. Oh my goodness! Well, I did that myself. Okay. Well, since I did that, then I need to do this one the same way. Oh my goodness! I just got that backwards, you guys. And it does, you know, it's not going to matter. <laughs> it's still going to tuck in. What the heck? Wait a second. Did I do that completely wrong? Is that going to work? Hang on a second. I think as long as you got tabs all the way around, it'll work. But that was not my plan to do it that direction. Okay, it'll still work. Okay, so let's let's get one side glued down. <laughs> oh my goodness. It'll work. And a little bit over here. And then I think the important thing is just to, you know, line it up. Well, how much of the time have I been out of the frame? And just you know, make your nice square corners and then get this ready. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me get a little bit of blue on here. So this is the one we're going to work on now. Let me kind of fold these in. Okay. And a little tiny bit. And this lid is not as deep as the other one, and that's okay. It's just for this tiny little part inside. We'll just pull it together, make sure it'll fit, and they're kind of loose in there anyway. I'm just going to hold it down there. I'm going to take this one out. I can see it's going to fit, so I'm just going to, I don't know what I've done here. 
to give myself a problem. I really don't have one. It's just, um, I think those should have been scored. Or I should have used my bone folder. Okay, let's let that sit for just a second. I haven't even been to the dollar store lately, Donna. There was something I was thinking I was gonna pick up the other day and we didn't. We still didn't even end up going. Okay, so now we've got that. So our inside closes and then we can fold these in. And it's like, the more times you fold these hearts, kind of the easier it is to get them going the direction that you want when you fold them. So here we go, we've got these, and I just put the top on. And so now, so now you've got your box. Oh, what's going on with my, let me pull this down a little bit. Maybe even back it up. There we go. So now you've got your box and you've got your lid. You can pull that out. And we've done all of this with just our two sheets of cardstock. Ta-da! And so, you know, you can, lots of people will do these and put photos in them, which is really a cute thing to do. Wouldn't that be fun? Or a lot of people will just go ahead and, um, you know, do the cut pieces to decorate it, okay? So that's what we're going to do now. We've got some time, and so we're just going to start working on, well, I guess we're done with the scoreboard, so let me get that out of the way. And let's start cutting some papers. So I found these. I thought these would be pretty. And you know what? They don't really scream Valentine's Day either, which I thought that would be kind of fun. So we've got these, and all of these work together. So it doesn't matter which ones of these I use. Oh man, I almost hate to use these. I love black. I love having some black and white paper. And it's not really. Well, it's just, no, let's see. It's just two kinds, it's just two sheets of paper that are double-sided, and they're the similar colors on both sides. So let's make something for the top. The top needs to be, where's my ruler, where's my ruler? Oh, there it is. So the top is four inches, and so if we want just a tiny bit inside, and you can you can decide how how big of a border that you want around the edge. So if we want to just have, you know, just that tiny bit of an eighth of an inch all around the edge, then we need to cut it at a three and uh, three quarters inch square. And I think, I think for the lid, let's do something pretty for the lid. This one has kind of a, and you, let's do this one. So we want three and three, and you know what, that's gonna be, Wait a second, let me see. What about the sides? The sides are also gonna be three and three quarter inch squares. So that's perfect. I was thinking it would, but I thought, well, I need to I need to make sure that's right. So let's do three and three quarters. I'm just gonna cut a long strip of it. And then I'll just cut some other squares out. I should be able to get three of these out of here. What, wait, did I? do that right? I'm always <laughs> double checking. I'm like, wait, did I do that right? Was it three and a quarter or did I cut it at two and a quarter, two and three quarters? Always second. Well, you know, it's like that adage about, you know, cutting things for, um, you know, construction work or any, any home improvement things, you know, um, three and, what do they call, like, uh, measure twice, cut once. <laughs> so that's great. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so we've got those. So that's only that's only going to take us three. Let's do another one. Let's cut another one. So three and three quarters. And so then you would, you know, you you need the inside, you need the outsides, all kinds of fun stuff. So what I could do with one of those that I'll have extra here, I could trim it down a little bit more and make the top, the inside of the small box. Let's do that. So we've got 
enough here for all the outside pieces, four for the outside pieces, and one for the top. And let's cut this extra one for the top of the small box. And that one is going to need to be two and three quarters. I'm just gonna bend this, make sure it's a little bit more squared up. You can just kind of pinch it. So this is gonna be two and three quarters. And then we'll have the top. And you can put it around the little lid on the, or around the little lip if you want to. Those are gonna be real small. So you could put them along here if you want, whatever you wanna do. And part of that might just even be how much time you wanna spend on it, right? So I'm just gonna put this on here. And again, you can use whatever kind of adhesive that you want. You can use a good glue stick. This is the kind of glue stick I like, is this Yoohoo stick glue. That's a good one. But whatever you wanna use, just make sure you know it's gonna stick. Some glues are not, I bought one and it did not stick. It was more like, I just grabbed it. It's more like what we send kids to school with. I was not very happy, <laughs> to say the least. Oh, thanks, Don, I think so, I hope so. I hope it is. But like I said, this doesn't just, you know, scream Valentine's Day. But look how pretty that is. So there we've got our top. And you can just lay it down like this. And if you've got something, now, you know, now make sure that if you've got a, a pattern paper that has to have, um, you know, that it's a directional piece of paper, make sure that you've got it, you know, going the right way. Now this one kind of actually is. So I might make sure that I've got that going up on, you know, so the top is, is um, you know, it's pointing up when my box is closed. Ooh, that was hard to tell. <laughs> and then just kind of line it up a little bit. Make sure you're kind of straight. If you've got any excess glue, wipe that away. And if you've got glue that dries clear, you know, that's, that's a plus. But, you know, some of these, I mean, it's really, is it really... <laughs> I mean, you could, the leaves go up this way, there's leaves going up this way. It really doesn't matter. And I love to use prints like that because, you know, you can get yourself into, you know, things that you thought were going to be fine. And then all of a sudden you get it done and you got some pieces that are upside down because it was a directional paper. So these are fun when you can find them that, you know, you don't really have to worry about that. And you could make, um, you could do some little, you could cut out some little hearts if you wanted to um, for these hearts, which I may do. I'm probably not going to do that right now. I'll have to spend some time working on that. But what you could do, I'll tell you, and if you want to know how you would do that, just take a piece of paper like this. Take a piece of paper, draw this part of your heart out, and then, you know, you know that actually it'd be easiest if you take take your corner, put it like this so you've got the corner right there. Actually, you could put it in here like this and just hold that, flip it around, and then trace the edge here, and then you know where that is. And then you would just pull that out and then do this heart smaller and then you've got a heart you can put right here. Does that make sense? I hope that made sense. And we'll just keep putting our little pattern on here. So yes, this is, you know, February is heart health, women's heart health month to be more specific. Okay, so we've got that, we've got our little lid, and now you could start doing the inside. So we would want to do, and that's gonna be the same size, you guys. This is kind, and I don't know, I don't know how much of this I would use. <laughs> it's, it kinda hurts my eyes. 
I think I would probably do this side instead. And so again, we're going to make three and three quarters. I'll just make a strip of that and cut some squares. So I need four of those. So here's going to be three. And then I can take the next strip of it and I can do, I can get my one. I'll show you what we'll do. Okay, so there's three for the inside. We need one more at three and a quarter. Not three and a quarter, three and three quarters. Sorry. And so we'll do one at three and three quarters. Okay, now this one needs to be um, two. Let's see, was that right? Two. I think these are th three inches, right? So these are three. So now we need two and three quarters. So I'm going to cut this down to two and three quarters. And then I can get, let's see how many we can get out of here. I think we're still going to end up having to cut something else for another piece. Two and three quarters. Okay, so we got three out of there. So I'll still need one other little strip. Okay, now I've got some little strips there, little scraps. And you guys, uh, these would be kind of fun to trim and put around the sides of the lid. Not sure that's enough to go clear around. It's only got three sides. But that's cute. And maybe, let's see what's on the other one. What's on that other piece that we did? Oh, here it is. Oh, polka dots. Look, we could use polka dots on here. That'd be cute. And just, you know, trim them up to go. And it's half an inch, so that would be perfect. We'll trim that out and we can put that along the side. I love it. Okay, let's do the first part of here. So, man, this one almost, this thing, it's kind of, kind of an optical, whatever. <laughs> Kind of hurts my eyes. All right, now these, you know, and these are not going to matter kind of, you know, either way, as long as I would just make sure that I have them all going the same way, right? And that way when it folds down, they all look, you've got a cohesive look to that. So let's just do that. And you know what? If you forget and you get one turned the other direction, nobody's going to know. You're the only one that's going to pay any attention, probably. I mean, seriously, that's how that goes. So this one, I've got kind of this little piece I've got toward, toward the bottom. So I'm just going to try and remember to do that each direction. And just get that in there. But I'm excited. We'll have fun coming back next week and making some fun little things to go inside. Thanks. Thanks, you guys. I'm glad you're liking it. Stella says, awesome. Funky Junk says, she's liking it. Whoopsie, I almost did it that way. almost got that one the other way. Donna says, this is going to look so pretty. I hope so. And one more. I, I really do like this black and white with the red. You know, I think black and white is, and this isn't really um, white. It's kind of an off-white color, but you know, still you get that same vibe, right? And I love black and white with a pop of color. And I think almost any color with black and white looks really gorgeous. And I think when I first started noticing that, I had seen some rooms decorated like that. I had seen them in a magazine. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. Now this, 
Let's see. Maybe we'll put this on here on the outside. I like that. Or, you know what? We could put that on the inside. Let's do that. Then when it falls down here, we've got a different look. Let's do that. And these are not going to matter which way they are, except, well, side to side. If you put them the other way, you've got them up and down. I don't know. Which way do you guys like them? Side to side or up and down? What do you think? Let me know what you think about that. Side to side or up and down? I love getting interaction from my friends. <laughs> Let's see what you say. We don't have a whole bunch of people with us, but you know what? That's okay. <laughs> Sue says side to side and Jeannie says up and down. <laughs> I don't know either way. I don't know. Actually, I I kind of think it. I kind of think up and down is kind of fun, right? Let's do it up and down. Let's do something different. Let's just do it that way. Or let's go with Jeannie's idea. Up and down. Then when it folds out, it's really a a different look. <laughs> oh, where'd the rest of them go? Oh, here they are. They're. They're just hidden with the piece of paper. And it's got a little bit of gold on it, too. Can you guys see that? <coughs> All of it had, the whole collection had little smatterings of gold, you know, on it. Which kind of makes it fun. It's not, it, it gives it a little bit more, you know, interest. I'm all about the interest. I love the interest. We're going to have to cut one more of these, though. And then just kind of, and that's why I like to use glue. I can kind of squiggle it into place before it's come. But I tell you what, this glue drives pretty fast. Pretty dang fast. I still got to cut one more. After me is going to be Jeannie from Jeannie's Palette. Jeannie does lots of um, paintings and paint pours and... I love watching her paint pour. I always have still wanted to do some of that, and I just haven't. I just know it's going to be messy, and I don't. I don't really need more mess around here. <laughs> okay, where's our one we were cutting off of? Is it this one? So we need. Another two and three quarters. We only need one. Well, we could put something in the bottom. Let's put one in the bottom, too. So two and three quarters. I'm going to cut two of those, and I'm going to put one in the bottom. But I'm going to turn it up the other way. almost hurt your eyes <laughs> but like I said we're gonna put other stuff on top of it next week so be sure and watch for our fun days of that maybe I'll do a little bit of that on Monday actually no let's not let's do that on Wednesday let's do it on Wednesday we'll come back here and take five and do another one We'll just continue this. That'll be perfect. Because I've got lots of, lots of ideas for things we can add on. Okay. So there we go. We've got that. We've got this on here. So I'm pretty pleased with that. We've got the basic part done, you guys. Well, what's going on here? I wonder if this goes better the other direction. Ugh, what did we do? Well, my goodness. Here we go. OK, 
okay got it on there so there we got that on and then we just close it up here and you can this one was got two going the same way which you can but I like to train them so they'll go around then they you don't have so much bulk in one spot so we've got our lid the same as the sides on this one sometimes I put a lid a different you know color I think those black and white dots will be cute on here which one was that it wasn't that one Here's this one and where is the rest of that paper here it is let's cut a little bit off so this is called a zip strip and it's just a branding strip and some some companies put something for you to use so you can make use of that branding strip and some of them don't okay so we need so we've got half an inch and oh that'll be perfect like on the on the inside of the outside I mean the inside of the outside the bottom of the outside or the bottom inside oh I like that idea though we we didn't do anything at the bottom so this needs to be three and three quarters I'll have to cut both of the zip strip things but let's let's do a couple of sides so we can see what it looks like well actually I'll have enough here to do three sides whoops that got kind of messed up oh you mean on the you're talking about the inside of the box aren't you well we've got stuff we're gonna do next week we're gonna make some other fun stuff Sue and put it in there that let's turn it this way and cut that off because that didn't cut straight you gotta hold these things tight when you have only got tiny little bits and pieces so I'll have to cut that strip off the other one but this will give me you know this so let's put that on a little bit too much glue maybe and then just put it on here sometimes I don't even do these edges of the lid depends on how much you know how much time and effort that I want to spend <laughs> you know how that goes right but this is fun there we go and you know inside it would be fun if you had a little gift to give that would fit inside that little box that would be super fun be a really fun way to um, give a gift so I'll have to do the other side to one more strip we've got time to do that let's do it let's get that one taken care of so I didn't even I've still got one each of these pages so I'm not sure I might even look for something else to use for the other side no wait a second we've got all of it done don't we all of the no we didn't do the sides here we still need to do the outsides so oh maybe I'll use this the black color that'd be kind of pretty on the outside now remember we've, we've got other things that we're gonna put in here and so in the end I'm not sure how much of that is even gonna show uh, but you want to make sure that you've got it all covered up and even if you need to if you want to give it just like this it would be fine so one more side here and the lid will be done but yeah so um, a hypnotic effect that is very true yes Lisa very true kind of that's what I was thinking <laughs> okay there we go yeah so you guys I've been streaming on Facebook and YouTube so you know if you hear me make a reply to somebody that you don't see that's why they're on the other platform and so if you've liked what you know what we've been doing today I would love it if you would um, 
you know, follow me or subscribe, whichever is appropriate for which place you're on. Yeah, let's come back Wednesday next week and work on some more of this. We'll work on some of the surprise things on the inside, but here we go. Look at that. Isn't that cute? It just ends up being a cute little cube. Very fun. Yeah, I love it. It's almost time. So it's almost time for Jeannie from Jeannie's Palette. And so we'll see what she's got up her sleeve for today. Yes. Yeah, it would be fun to put something in there. And we might. We might put something, a surprise like that, something three-dimensional right here. Because then we still have these four places to, you know, add something fun um, to do. And most of the things that we're going to be adding are kind of an interactive type element. They'll be, you know, paper. But it'll be still kind of a little interactive element for those. So that'll be a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me today. Remember, this is Women's um, Heart Month, our Heart Health Month. And today is Wear Red Day. So put some red on and get out there, you guys. And I am so, so happy that you've joined me today. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. So up next again is Jeannie's palette from, and she's, she's going to be doing something painty, I'm sure. Talk to you later. Bye.